Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Hope you guys are well and safe. Karen rising to you all. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Hope you guys woke up on some good energy. Getting ready to conquer your day, okay? Getting ready to manifest what you want and not what someone else wants, okay? Because there's, like, good news is coming in for whoever you are watching this video, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, or Venus. You could be Aries, Sun. You could be Aries, Moon, Rising, North, or Venus. Have Aries anywhere in your chart. You could be dealing with an Aries, and you could be a cross watcher. Welcome, okay? But I'm picking up on that you guys are about to get some really good news, okay? So prepare yourself for this good news, Aries. You've been through so much this month. You've been through ups and downs. You've been through your challenges, and um, you persevered. You persevered, and you weathered a storm. And now prepare for some good news, because that's the first card that showed itself when I was grabbing the decks and shuffling the decks. That was a card that popped its head out. The first card. And it says good news. So, um, yeah, this energy that's been gaining momentum towards you, you know. And it is the 888 portal um, <clears throat> on the 8th, so, which is right around the corner. So, yeah, feeling left out in the cold is going to be a thing from the past. Okay, so I feel like individuals or an individual, they made you feel left out in the cold. Um, they didn't give you the job or they didn't offer you the position or they didn't call you back after you went for an interview. Um, or maybe you just feel like money has been tight this month. There's been like some sort of money blockage or some sort of information, okay, that you haven't received regarding... A situation that has to do with your home, with your foundation, with your stability. Uh, there's something that somebody was delaying on purpose, okay? Someone was delaying an offer, communication, information, paperwork. Something that somebody was trying to delay on purpose that you needed that was important. In order to uh, make sure that you were not taking a loss when it comes to your foundation or investments. Because here it says financial loss, lack of faith, and lack of mindset. Isolation, worry, defeat, poverty, insecurity, fear, and low self-esteem. Okay, so I don't know if this is your energy. But if this is your energy, just know that you're about to get some really good news moving forward. And this also could be the energy of somebody that feels left out in the cold by you. And this person could have Earth in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Somebody feels left out in the cold by you, okay? This person is exhausted, trying to, uh, yeah, trying to destroy your confidence. Oh, wow. So I'm picking up on somebody was really doing the most, <clears throat> trying to destroy your confidence, trying to do something so that way someone else would be guarded towards you. Or someone else wouldn't reach out and um, communicate something to you. So that way somebody has to go back and review something over again. There's somebody here that was trying to throw like a monkey wrench in your plans. Or they were trying to sabotage an offer that was coming towards you. Slow something down for you. This is the energy I'm always picking up on. I promise you guys. There's always somebody trying to slow something down for you. Block something. Delay it. And um... This person's exhausted. This is an Aries Leo Sag energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You guys can have that in your chart or you could be dealing with any of those signs. But there's uh, somebody here that's giving up. Okay, they're giving up. They're overwhelmed. They feel destroyed, but their confidence is destroyed or they wanted to destroy your confidence. And now this person is overwhelmed with self-doubt. Yeah, this person feels like a failure. <clears throat> because they couldn't isolate you enough, okay? Somebody wanted to isolate you completely. So that way, no one would recognize you or your work or your value. Wow, this person is very insecure, very manipulative, and this person is 
feeling like this person is in fear that you are going to do better than them, that you're going to be chosen for this position over them, or something weird like that. So this could be somebody that you know or you don't know. This could be a co-worker or higher up. This could be a family member or a friend. Take it and put it where you need to, where it fits for your situation. <clears throat> So I heard the song by Fabulous, Go Hard Today. You can't worry about tomorrow. You can't worry about the past because that was yesterday. Okay, so something about you're going hard today. You're making things happen for yourself today. You're putting yourself out there and you're manifesting opportunities today. You're getting your important things done and you're making it to your appointment on time. Something, somebody wants to really block this opportunity from happening for you or they want to block you by creating some sort of delusion or confusion regarding the past something that happened in the past or these are past people that they want you to live in the past they want you to remember them they want you to reminisce they want you to reach out but you're too busy going hard today for your future for your success, for your self-worth. <clears throat> so whoever these past people are, or this past situation is, you, you were told by your ancestors to leave it right where it was and move forward. That your ancestors was going to resolve the issue for you from whatever it is that you had to let go of from the past, whether it was a job. You had to walk away from a job because somebody was putting too much pressure on you at work and they were put into that job just to make sure that you quit to give you a hard time. Okay, I just want to tell you, if, if any of you guys been through that situation or you're dealing with a co-worker or somebody that's trying to give you a hard time, trying to make you quit so that you fail, <clears throat> You are going to have an opportunity, so you need to dress to impress because there's a faded event that's putting you in the spotlight here. This is your time, okay? This is your time to lead a group, be in charge, make decisions, oversee a department, or get some sort of promotion or upgrade okay so this is your time and somebody really was really trying to slow that down for you delay it or maybe even have you quit before it happens so you're about to be chosen for something selected for something given an opportunity and there's karmic there's this karmic energy here male or female that really wants you to quit they don't even want you to know this opportunity is coming for you they want to make you feel like like i don't know like they want to make you feel exhausted. They want to make you feel like like you just got like you're just going to quit, like nothing good is going to happen for you here, that you're never going to be uh promoted, that this is not going to happen or the third, that you're not being noticed but you are. Okay? Because this faded event is putting you in the spotlight somehow. And somebody keeps bringing your name up at work or talking about what you do for work. And if you guys don't work outside of your home, then this could definitely be somebody that works doing the same thing that you do. Somehow they know who you are. And they could be trying to send you blockages. They could be trying to uh, distort people's views about you somehow. Even if this is over the phone, online, or however it is that you get your work done. This is like, there's a, this is like a competitive field. And there's others that do what you do. And there's a specific person that's obsessed with the way you do your work or how good it's going that they want to uh, they want to sabotage you at work. Someone keeps bringing you up at work talking about what you do for work and how you do it. But as this person is gossiping about it, a high-ranking member of their team is interested or intrigued by what you do and how you do it. Wow. So this person's gossip about you just put a spotlight on you more at work. And now this higher up is really interested in working with you. They really want to give you an offer. And then I heard the invite, dress to impress, the invite. You're going to get an invitation. 
Now, the same individual that was so busy trying to have a spotlight on you because they were gossiping about what you do and how you do it, trying to basically... <clears throat> this person was trying to basically make like make a make a joke or make you look bad or have somebody want to look over you and not choose you, but this really made somebody notice you more. Wow. So somebody that wanted to keep you hidden, that wanted you not to be recognized, all they did is really shine the spotlight on you even more. All they did is have the higher-ups take a second look, a third look at you, a first, a second, a third look at you, and really realize and recognize that you do what you do very well, and you are a valuable asset or will be a valuable asset to that company, to the team, to whatever it is that you got going on. And if you have your own business, then I, I'm going to say this. Somebody has been talking good about your business, about your work, about your service, and somebody else has been trying to put you down, make you look bad, give you bad reviews or whatever they've been doing. But it really doesn't matter what this person says or feels about you because they're not the boss. They're not the one with the power and authority to level you up. Okay? This person is just like a squirrel trying to catch a nut, trying to figure out how they can copy steal from you or how they can be seen or noticed. How they can shine in the spotlight more. How they can try to diminish you and your reputation and how somebody sees you. But listen, somebody's going to reach out. And you worked with this person before. Or this person is connected to a boss that you work with or a co-worker that you work with. Okay? Now, this person's colleague or their boss wants to have a sit down with you. Even though this person does not want you to receive this offer... They've been given instruction by their boss to make sure that they reach out to you, that they get in contact with you, and they bring you in. So the reason why this boss is making it this person's business to come and reach out to you to let you know that this boss wants to have a sit down with you is because this person talked about you so much that this is this person talking about you so much is the reason why this boss noticed you in the first place. So this boss is going to say, hey, now I'm going to need you. To go communicate to so-and-so that I want to have a meeting with them or a sit-down with them. And this person is furious because they have to pretend now that they like you. They have to pretend now that they had no problem with you. They have to pretend that they're playing nice. Because, like I said before, this is this person's boss too. And this person's boss is favoring you and is about to become your boss soon. That's what I'm getting for someone this person is not going to be happy that you're working there or that you've been promoted or whatever. And that, you know, this person tried to throw shade, but you're too bright. You shine too bright. You're the sun. So this person's shade could not affect you. It just made somebody notice you more. When this person comes towards you to give you this invitation to go meet up with their boss or have a sit down with their boss, you guys take the opportunity because you might think that the offer is shady coming from this person because you can tell this person never really liked you or they always had a side eye or they were always giving you a fake smile. Maybe you don't even know this person, but this person is going to have to give, uh, give you this communication. So you might think it's a trap, but it's actually an opportunity of a lifetime. So he or she never wanted you to have. So this person might say, hey, so-and-so wants to meet with you or they want you to come in da -da 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 -da, to the office. But I wouldn't come in if I was you because this boss, he's a weirdo. So somebody's going to try to sabotage you, give you the wrong information so you don't even make it or you don't even show up because they know that this is a legitimate offer coming from this person. So they're going to try to throw shade about the offer like, yeah, um, I don't know if you should go, but they asked you to come in. So, you know, you got to think about it because they're going to try to throw some shade on the offer because this person is so envious they don't want you to have the offer. Wow. Like I said, this could be a, fu a fake friend, a family member, an ex-co-worker, somebody that works with you, but they work somewhere else in another department. I mean, this is somebody that never wanted you to have this opportunity, but this opportunity is real, and it's not coming from this person. It's coming from this person's boss, okay? Now that I got that out, re be mindful if this person comes towards you or you get an, a call or an invitation, just please dress to impress and show up.
Because you're being selected. You're being selected for a reason. So I heard the name Raymond. I heard the name Charles, Charlie. I heard the name Chloe, Corey, Chelsea, Roger, Robert, Dante, Max, Maxwell, Maxine, Marty, Miguel, Tisha or Natasha, Natalie, Monique, I heard Carrie, Katie, I heard the name Tammy, Tammy or Tamara, what is going on spirit? So this opportunity is coming in, and there's also a Knight of Cups coming in towards you. Knight of Cups energy, okay? So this is somebody that is creative, romantic, charming. They have an imagination. They're very handsome or beautiful. They're coming in with their shining armor, armor following their heart. So somebody's following their heart towards you, <clears throat> Aries. Somebody's really following their heart. Give me a second. <clears throat> I woke up, <clears throat> my throat chakra was completely blocked, it was hurting, it was scratchy, and I'm sorry for clearing my throat so much in this video, but yes, they are trying to block my throat chakra, they are trying to silence me, okay, so, uh, you know, the watchers, they watch everything I do, they watch everything we do, they watch everything you do, so, they don't want you to have an experience like this with the world card. They don't want you to have an expansion. They don't want you to get this communication with this beautiful offer. They don't want this Knight of Cups coming towards you. Somebody was trying to delay this from you, okay? This person is egotistical and they have a lack of confidence. But your hard work is paying off and this offer is coming in and it's a solid, stable offer. Yep, and you are going to be moving, leveling up. And then I heard, and we're moving on up, moving on up to the east side. I finally got a piece of the pie. Oh, wow. So uh, you somebody could be moving to the east side, moving across the water overseas, or somebody's moving into a better location. <clears throat> and somebody's angry. As about, um, they're angry about that. They're there's a relationship that could be ending. Somebody's releasing a relationship. They're letting go of this baggage. They're letting go of this karmic. They're coming to make you an offer. They don't want to work with this person or deal with them anymore. This could be for work or love and relationship. But this offer is coming towards you. And I kept saying this while I was channeling these messages that you're getting an offer. Okay. And there's a Knight of Pentacles and a Knight of Cups. Okay. So this is a messenger. This is a messenger. This is good news. Okay, so there's a Knight of Pentacles here as well. So you could be getting two different offers from two different people. <clears throat> or this is like two people coming towards you, giving you the same offer. Because this boss wants to make sure you receive the offer. They want to make sure that this person doesn't try to sabotage the offer. Because this boss knows this person was envious of you. And trying to manipulate their mind about you. So yeah, this boss is going to send. make sure that they send out two emails, two text messages, two phone calls to different people. Or this is two people coming in, fighting for your attention, fighting for your love, wanting to reach out. You got to make a decision here. Hmm. Yeah. Getting out of the two of swords. Releasing delays, worries, or fears. You, get, you could be having an information overload, so be careful. If somebody's giving you too much information and they're making you get a headache, you're making you confused, an information overload, take your time. The devil... Somebody has a dark entity, shadow attachment, Capricorn energy, all right? And this person can't juggle your energy anymore, okay? You release this karmic out of your life. You did some cord cutting meditation. They can't leech off your energy, and you're moving forward, and there's a communication coming, Aries Leo Sag energy, that brings you this beautiful, great opportunity, and you're going to be starting a new chapter of your life here. You're going to be starting a new job, or you're going to have a new promotion, or you're having a new position, or you're in charge of something. You're bossing up. This is your own business, you know? 
And somebody here is left juggling by themselves because you figured this person out. You figured out that this person was deceitful. They were shady. They were trying to block some sort of opportunity. All they did was block themselves. Yep, instant feedback. Somebody got some instant feedback uh, regarding your service, your product, or something about somebody's service or product. They got some instant feedback. <clears throat> Somebody has a dark entity attached to them, and this person is, is their mask is falling off. Somebody's realizing that this karmic was out here trying like trying to have you miss opportunities, trying to live in your spotlight. Oh my goodness. This person was trying to take credit for something that that you did or that belongs to you. This person was trying to take credit for your work. Okay, but they didn't get away with it. Angel of strength here. Yup, strategy. All right, whatever strategy you have is working for you. Whatever healing methods you've been using, they're working for you. And somebody sees that, that whatever they've thrown at you, whatever they've done towards you, you just keep dodging the bullet. You just keep leveling up. The angel of balance is here to balance out your love life, to balance out your savings. So somebody wanted to deplete your savings account. You know, they really wanted to have you worry and stress for money. Yeah, they want to block your throat chakra from speaking your truth. Confirmation about that. Because my throat chakra has been affected since I woke up this morning. Okay, but that's not going to stop me from bringing you guys the message. This karmic female is obsessed and upset because this karmic invested so much money into spell work, into blocking you, into harming you or blocking your throat shock or blocking your life. This, this karmic female is under judgment. Okay, this karmic female is realizing that you're, you're getting an offer, that your money is increasing, or that this person is coming towards you and this person is furious because financial constraints is in the reverse. They wanted to uh, financially block you so you wouldn't be in your highest vibration, so you'll be worried, stress, and anxiety, but this is the energy this karmic female is in. Somebody could be 42, somebody could be 39, somebody could be 48, somebody could be 52, 51, somebody could be 13. Somebody could be 40, all right? So somebody got a 13-year-old child or somebody could be born on the 13th. Then I heard Friday the 13th, something significant about Friday and the 13th, appreciation. Somebody could be born on the 15th, on the 10th, on the 12th, the 22nd. You guys could be seeing the number 222. Somebody got a 15-year-old child. Somebody really does appreciate your work and admire you. And here goes the deceitful karmic. Somebody could have red hair, they got, they wear the color red, or they have a red car, or this person is just very deceitful. Deceit is here. Somebody's very deceitful, and they want to block your throat chakra, and they want to block you, this karmic female here, from becoming, uh, from mastering something, from becoming uh, a boss, a leader, from becoming wealthy. This person don't want that. Yeah, because then they can't um, block you anymore, the door to personal happiness. I heard Karen. Victory. Victory is yours. Victory is yours. And the thinking man, this thinking man is about to bring you some sort of proposal. This thinking man really appreciates you for whoever you are. This could be a, a, a relationship that you're working on, somebody that you're dating, a boss, somebody that, you know, is giving you a lot of recognition. They're realizing that they really value you and appreciate you, but they're giving you this offer and this is victory. Okay, the angel of balance is coming in. The door to value. Somebody really values you. So whatever this karmic was doing in your energy, they were trying to delay somebody from giving you an offer, whether it was a boss at work or whether it was somebody giving you a love offer or taking your connection to the next level. Somebody was doing something behind the scenes, trying to block this person from doing so. But ultimately, they want a happy family with you. You will have a happy family with your soulmate. You guys will be together. And you will have this offer when it comes to your work. Whatever you do, you will have this promotion here. The number four, somebody could be born on the 4th, 24. Somebody could have a one-year-old. Somebody could be on the 10th. <clears throat> they try to bring you a natural disaster, but your ancestors block these karmics from um, sabotaging this. They want you to be um, stuck in... <clears throat> they want you to be stuck in anxiety 
All right, because they don't want you to be the healer of all ages. They know you're the healer of all ages. They don't want you to heal yourself. Somebody could be 51. Somebody could have an 18-year-old. They try to block your love life. Your love life is moving forward just fine. Okay, because the, the person that's coming in with this offer is somebody that you guys have a divine partnership, a divine connection. You guys have telepathic communication with this person. This person could even be coming up in your dream state as of recently. All right, so this offer is coming in because this person knows you're a healer. And they have the key to your heart that's been locked away in this cage for a while. All right, if you guys are currently talking or dating with your soulmate, then this connection is going to take a toll for the best. This person is going to want to invest more into the connection. They're going to want to move in or give you a ring or make something solid between you and them. All right, and this karmic woman is under judgment for trying to block your love life, trying to block this person from being with you, 44. The angel of love is restoring your love life, and this masculine, whether it's you or the masculine giving this person an offer or the masculine is coming towards you, 45, 37, this person knows what they want, and they want to work with you, they want to have a sit down with you, they want to collaborate with you, or they want to give you this beautiful uh, love offer to solidify your connection to take your commitment to the higher level and whoever you are you're not going to be expecting this all right so this is good news all right thank you guys for watching the video i love you guys if you're interested in personal my email is down below if you're interested in crown chakra or be gone spiritual bath my email is down below i love you guys till the next time namaste